Hey people, hope everybody's doing well. Just got off a very important Skype call with a, let's say, a banking insider that's got a lot of pertinent information and uh, very, very scary what's happening. And American banking system, worldwide banking system, is in a heap of trouble. Now, we've been talking about the black swan swooping in now for over 10 years with the deregulation of the banking system and deregulating the mom and pops, basically. Deregulating, hijacking the middle class and the mom and pops. And that's what these banks have been doing. They've been breaking the rules to benefit them. Now, what I've been told is that the amount of money laundering that's been happening, we talked about it with Australian banks, with Westpac over the years and and uh, A and A and Z and all these other banks in the states and, and Wells Fargo and all these banks that were uh, J P Morgan and all these different investment groups with this incredible amount of money laundering. Canada with the Vancouver model, bring your money in. We don't need to know where it came from. Well, it's not just the bad banking regulations that are actually damaging the banks. From what I've been told is actually the incredible amounts of money laundering that we've been reporting on for the last 10, 12 years here is actually starting to take notice in the banking uh, structure. Not It's so bad, okay, hear me out, that a lot of the higher level banking insiders are selling their shares right now. More and more people are taking their money out of the bank uh, it's actually more than it's being reported. Okay. Buddy was telling me it's up like 30% from last year where people are removing physical fiat currency from their um, bank accounts. It's up 30%. That's a lot uh, over a course of a year. Okay. He's expecting it to be up to 50% by next year where more and more people are losing confidence in their banking system, their governments, and their monetary system, and their economic system. People prefer to have cash under their mattress than they do uh, in the banks. And that's what it's looking at right now. That's what we're looking at right now. Yes, we've been ta talking about the black swan in the last 10 years, swooping in and and seeing an economic destruction ahead. Yeah, we've been wrong multiple times on this. But after having this conversation and actually getting numbers and looking at how much greater the problems are, the money laundering's fracturing everything. There's incredible amounts of fervorless spending. Okay, go woke, grow broke. It's actually bigger and it's doing more damage. Yeah, we saw a few banks fall in San Francisco or whatnot and a couple of banks, but it's actually a lot worse and they're keeping it together he doesn't even know how it's being kept together the last six months to the last year alone. So the big people or the upper level people in the corporate structure are actually selling out quick. And they're moving they've been moving a lot of stock and a lot of a lot of a lot of stocks in the last um Forty. Uh, so the weekend, Monday holiday. So since last Tuesday to Friday, they've been moving a lot of bank stock. You can see it. It's publicly traded. You can see the, what's going on. And it's not getting any better. And it's getting to the point now that we're going to see a 50% withdrawal, like 50% of funds be withdrawn by March of next year. So March of 2014, 2024, holy crap, we're 20, 2024, by March, we're gonna see a 40 to 60% runoff on the monetary system, okay? No confidence, it's not, it's the banking structure is falling apart, okay? From Australia to New Zealand, uh, to the United Kingdom to England, England did interest only mortgages and zero down in England to get the middle class in to get into their own housing market to compete with money launderers from China. Same thing with Canada. They did the Vancouver model here where basically it allowed money money launderers to bring in their money, buy our homes, leave them empty, 
and create these artificial shortages and homeowners become wealthy overnight and people for the last 10, 20 years now are on the sidelines to get in and buy a property. So the people that were 10 years old when I was starting making my videos are now 22 and they're still living with their parents. <clears throat> and the people that were 22, right, that started watching me back in the day are now 34 and they're still living with their parents. And the people that were 34 are 46 now that started watching me. And this has been a problem for the longest time now. Banks are in a lot of trouble, folks. It's a lot worse than I actually, okay, I know there are bad, bad deals, bad this, interest rates going up, blah, blah, blah. It, it's actually worse than that. It is really bad. So a lot of the banks that went woke, which were about 75% of them, will be going broke by summer of 2024. More, most people say, well, I think it's going to happen in the next month or two. No, it's a slow decay of the banking system. It's a slow decay of the economic system. It's a slow decay of, of, of where things are going. It's going to be a slow decay as more and more people, if he's right about, you're going to see a 60% withdrawal ratio by March or April of 2024. The banks don't have enough in their coffers to cover the bad debt they lend out. So we're going to see what's going to happen. I hope this guy is wrong because this could, could roll into civil unrest eventually. Okay. And with the amount of evictions, I, I was just looking at the evictions in the state of Georgia. Just the state of Georgia. The amount of evictions in the last seven months of, from the beginning of this year till now, 2023, is horrendous. I've never, I've never, had, I, I, I can't believe it. I, I just can't believe how many people are losing it or losing everything, and be and, and being homeless. So it's starting. It's getting there. I appreciate the calls, guys. I appreciate the emails and the information, and taking the time to to educate me in this stuff too, and so that I could tell some of you guys it's a lot worse. It's a lot worse than I ever thought. I, I thought, you know, they could kind of keep this together for 10, 15 years as things erode, but mm -mm, not with the no confidence now. A lot of the banks that did fail originally in the last eight months, a year, because people were committing runoffs and people just didn't trust their banks. And when there's runoffs, uh, no confidence, it leads to civil unrest. It may lead to, it will eventually lead to a change in government. But what are the next guys going to do? Make it worse? Right? So we need to completely overhaul the system if we want to fix any of this. That's the problem we're in. A full overhaul of the system and actually put the people first over the corporation because without the people, the corporation doesn't exist. Corporation only exists because of us. And we vote with our dollars always. Oh, they're going to create robots to fabricate, then let them. Then I don't buy their stuff. Anyways, I'm not going to go ramble on about other stuff. People in the upper structure of the banking world right now are selling off. I just wanted to let you know. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.